Hey guys, Charles Vaughn here from Vaughn Visuals. I get countless messages from family, clients, random people on Facebook and Instagram about what kind of gear that I use to shoot weddings. So I decided to make this three to four minute video uh, telling you guys what I use. So let's get right into it. Okay, let's start with one of these necessities here. I bought this thing about two years ago and it saved me so much time and space that I am forever in debt to Pelican. This is a Pelican 1510 case and it's perfect for most, if not all, the essential gear I bring with me. Most importantly, because I travel a lot, it's FAA approved for carry-on. So that means the gear never leaves my sight and that's really important to me. Next is one of the coolest tripods I've ever used before. Manfrotto 290 Extra has been one of the lightest and smoothest tripods I've ever used. It doesn't have a big head either, which is the best part, and it's only about nine pounds, so it's perfect to carry when I'm going from ceremony to reception. It's not too heavy or anything like that. It's perfect. Moving on. The Mavic Pro has been essential to my career. Brides and grooms are always asking their potential clients if they shoot with drones. 95% of videographers now have a drone because of it. I packed this guy because it's quick and easy to get the shots I need with the little time that I have. It's great for establishing shots, for closing shots. It's great for transitioning shots when you're going from the ceremony to reception. It is a must have. There are other drones out there like this, like the Mavic Pro 2 or the bigger versions like the DJI Phantom series or the Inspire if you guys shoot with that. But with the little time that I have, I prefer something a little lighter and a little easy to carry around. Next up, we have the Charlie's Angels, which are the three essential lenses that I bring with me to every single shoot. I started off with my 35-1.4 Rokinon lens. Uh, I love this guy. It's very cinematic. It has a great depth of field to it. It's super soft uh, and it's uh, a 1.4, so it's perfect to shoot in the reception when uh, sometimes my camera will struggle on the light. Next up is my Sony 70-200 f4 lens, which is surprisingly a really inexpensive and phenomenal lens for just about every situation. I shot with the 70-200 before, um, and honestly, I didn't see a huge difference when it came to shooting video. So for the price difference, I would say if you're if you're debating between the two, I don't want to turn this into a lens comparison video, but uh, the 70-200 f4 was per is perfect for what I do video-wise. Photography it may change a little bit. And then finally, I have the love of my life. It is the 24-70 lens. I always recommend this lens to photographers videographers it is a must-have and i would definitely say at 28 it is a must-have too so my 24 to 70 lens is perfect but it does have to be at 28 the f4 just doesn't do the trick unfortunately uh, it is a great piece of glass especially for the price it is a piece of glass that i plan on having for the rest of my career as a wedding videographer or a commercial shooter or something like that it is definitely a must much have lens whether you shoot canon sony or nikon definitely pick up one of these lenses and now we're going to look at a couple of the bodies that i shoot with i typically bring about three to four cameras with me during each shoot um, i like to rent one which is going to be the a7s2 use that or my a7 II for my main cameras my backup camera is going to be my nifty t3i will never ever disown it's my first child and i love it dearly i use this mainly for stationary still shots just in case my main camera for whatever reason let, lets me down i've shot with most of the camera brands canon nikon panasonic fuji personally love my my sony uh my sony cameras especially in low light situations i feel like sony just annihilates the competition maybe not so much canon but it always just depends on the situation you're shooting in and sony has never let me down so i plan on continuing to shoot with sony uh, for the rest of my career and i'll flip back and forth again because i do still miss my nikon for like a lot of the photography stuff that i was doing but the absolute worst part about these cameras are the batteries uh Unfortunately, Nikon is rated for 1,400 still shots. Canon is about 900 still shots, and Sony is about 600. So Sony does have the worst battery life compared to all these other cameras and brands. So you definitely wanna make sure that you carry a ton of extra batteries. I like to carry at least six to seven, six, seven, eight batteries, depending on how long the day is. Definitely keep them on you at all times. The next piece of equipment on this list are these little guys here. Uh, these are ND filters or any filters that you want to use to protect your lens. Super handy, especially down here in Florida, or if it's just a really bright kind of day, uh, you definitely want to carry these on you. What these little guys allow you to do is keep your shutter speed and your frame rate consistent throughout the day, no matter how harsh that light is. Think of them as like sunglasses for for your lenses uh, super handy to use you do not want to ever expose your shots so always carry them with you and make sure you have them for each one of your glasses too the only thing you want to do make sure that you don't do and i've done this a couple of times uh, back in the day was make sure you take the filters off of your glass or your lenses it is a little darker so when you go over to a ceremony you're gonna be like why is my why is this image so dark i, I can't explain my settings are correct and i 
the light is still here so why is it still so dark um, and it's because you have the, the filter still on your lens speaking of light you always want to carry at least one well typically what i would carry with me are just one to two lights like even if i don't use them i always want to make sure that i that i will have them with me in my back just in case because you never know what the reception is going to look like you don't know if the dj is going to have lights himself or if it's a dark area so always carry at least one or two lights if necessary the best case scenario is that dj provides all the lights and everything like that so you won't have to worry about the lighting equipment um and you just keep it in your bag but if for whatever reason if it's really dark inside and you just don't have enough light with you or if if the if the ser or if the reception doesn't have enough light in the area always carry using one right now and just carry like a, a couple of the little five by seven lights uh, that's more than enough just get make sure you're getting people dancing for the next piece of equipment, make sure you never forget these. These are super essential. I carry 10 to 12 SD cards with me. And trust me when I say this, carry more if you can. I'm always worried about running out of space. So I always have these in my Pelican case and I carry, um, I even carry with me in some of my pockets just, just in case. Cause you never know, sometimes the ceremony can just last a little bit longer than you expected it to. This is one of my favorite pieces of equipment. I invested in this guy about two to three years ago. This is the Zion Crane 3. This guy is also on my must have list. And even though some videographers like the handheld look, and sometimes I like to use that too, but I absolutely love the shots that I can get with this little guy. It's quick to set up, it's easy to carry in my Pelican case, and most importantly, it allows me to get the shots that I want. The last few pieces of equipment aren't really essential or necessary, but I do like to still carry them around. During travels, especially during airports, uh, you're always looking for something to do. Uh, so I always carry some type of reading material with me. Right now I'm rereading The Power of Now, and I always encourage bringing something like that to get your mind off of technology, even if it's just for a few moments a day. And if I'm not really feeling focused enough for reading, then I'll bring out my Nintendo Switch. And right now I'm playing Animal Crossings, and that game is phenomenal. So, And I also just realized that I left out a really important piece of equipment, and that's probably because I'm wearing it right now um audio is crucial ceremony reception brides and grooms uh, while they're reading their letters you want to make sure you have the best audio equipment to make sure your video sounds professional i'm currently using the rode wireless go transmitter receiver i will use this on my grooms while the receiver is connected to the camera it picks up all the audio that you'll ever need and then i also have this h1 mic here which is a microphone that would usually plug into the sound booth if the church has a sound booth or the DJ booth for sure. This picks up all the audio that I'll ever need with these two little guys here. And just a reminder, always carry extra SD cards, extra batteries, AA batteries for your mics. Everything like that is super important because you never want to run out of those things come the day of the wedding. And thank you guys again for so much for watching. Uh, but yeah, that's it. And if you guys do have any questions, please comment below. That'd be awesome. Okay, bye.